A fourth group of medication is one that we call thiazolidinediones. We just use the word TZDs for short in order to pronounce it easily. There are two agents made in this fashion. They are called Avandia, or rosiglitazone, and Actose, or pioglitazone. These agents are a little bit different than anything else in that they work in the body to reduce insulin resistance. They work on the muscle cells and the fat cells of your body and enable them to use insulin better and therefore reduce your blood sugar very effectively. Avandia comes as a 2, 4, or 8 milligram tablet and it's taken once a day or sometimes twice a day. Actose comes as a 15, 30, or 45 milligram tablet and is also taken once a day. The big thing about these two agents is that they don't cause an excessively low blood sugar and therefore we don't really need to test our blood sugar as often when we take that medicine in order to identify hypoglycemia because it won't happen. However, these agents do have some adverse effects. They cause some fluid retention and therefore if you have heart failure you should not take these medications. There was a question whether there was an increased incidence of heart attack actually with Avandia, but in recent studies that has not been shown to be the case even though there was an increased incidence of heart attack in patients who had fluid retention and heart failure. There is one other side effect of these drugs which is of some importance. It has recently been shown that they cause a weakening of the bones or osteoporosis and may lead to fractures, but it's an unusual fracture site it's the, lo the bones of the feet or the hands or the lower arms, not the spine and the hips, the usual uh, source of most osteoporosis fractures. So if you have a person who has osteoporosis, they probably shouldn't take these agents. Finally, I should mention these agents come combined with metformin and with a sulfonylurea called amaryl, and therefore... Avandia is available as Avandamet. And Avandamet uh, is a drug combining 500 milligrams of metformin with 2, 4, or 8 milligrams of Avandia. The amount of metformin in those agents could be either a 500 or a 1,000 milligram pill. So you can end up taking one pill twice a day and have a very significant blood sugar lowering and it's used a great deal in patients who have a high A1C that is high blood sugars and you need more than one drug to get them down to their goal level that's when you would consider a combined agent another combination is a combination of Avandia and Asulfonylurea Amaryl or glucoglymepiride. Avandaril comes as a 4 milligram of Avandia with 1 to 2 milligrams of Amaryl or 4 milligrams of Avandia with 4 milligrams of Amaryl. This combined agent taken twice a day very effectively reduces blood sugar but in this case can cause hypoglycemia because the sulfonylurea, amaryl, does produce hypoglycemia. They also can cause fluid retention and lead to some fractures in women as well.